Hi there! You are watching a video of pressure vessels in industrial plants. There are different ways to support pressure vessels, depending on numerous factors location, space available, uh, process, operation, etc. The three types of supports most used in pressure vessels are skirts, legs and saddles. In terms of supports, the critical equipment are vertical, slender and large diameter horizontal vessels. One of the most common methods of supporting vertical pressure vessels is by means of a rolled cylindrical or conical shell called skirt. It is not always possible to use skirts due to lack of space, large overturning moments, processes, internal unloading nozzles, etc. In these cases, other configurations are used, such as legs, lugs, tables, structures, etc. There are different types of shell to skirt joints. From a structural point of view, this joint is the most important part of the equipment. Therefore, the type of joint must be selected according to the requirements of the vessel. Overlapped shell to skirt configuration is the most common type of joint used in the manufacture of vertical vessels supported by skirts. The top course of the skirt is attached to the bottom head by means of a welding fillet. In the wheel build up type joint, a well deposit is made in the bottom head which is then machined with an inner radius of 13 to 25 mm. This way, the stress concentration point is avoided by means of a soft machined radius. Stresses are much more uniform throughout the joint of the two elements. The skirt to shelt joint in integral configurations is obtained by means of the machining of a plate of forging. It is usually part of a forged ring that is then machined, although it is also possible to start from a plate and then roll it. This piece will be the new joint of the equipment. It will replace part of the shell, part of the bottom head and part of the skirt. Since there are no discontinuities at the joint, this configuration is the best solution available for vertical supports. There are no universal rules for the selection of the type of shell to skirt joint. Depending on the complexity of the vessel, the sector and customer, the most adequate type of joint will be chosen. For normal applications, the overlapped type is used. For vessels of more than 30 tons of empty weight or design temperatures of more than 170 degrees Celsius, well built top type joints are used preferred. For applications with high requirements, integral joints are used, specifically in the following cases operating temperatures exceeding 370 degrees Celsius or shell thicknesses exceeding 100 mm thickness. Once the shell to skirt joint type has been defined, the skirt thickness must be calculated. This joint is under axial and bending stress due to overturning moment, bigger of wind and seismic. The thickness of the skirt is calculated by means of material resistant equations. There are numerous publications that combine the different stresses acting on the skirt to obtain the required thickness in a simple and straightforward way. 
An example can be found in the book Pressure Vessels Handbook by Eugene Majesi, shown in the screen. Same as for other pressure vessel components, there are recommended minimum thicknesses for skirts. It is difficult to establish a criterion that serves the wide diversity of equipment in the industry, so it will be the designer who should in each case establish the necessary assumptions. As starting point, the minimums shown on the screen are recommended for the thickness of the plates used in skirts. When defining the skirt thickness of a vessel, it is a good practice to work with a lower stress level than the allowable. In other words, reaching only the 85% of the allowable stress of the skirt material, it is important not only for safety purposes, but also as a forecast of the loads that must be withstood at later stages. It is also worth mentioning that the amount of steel used for the skirt compared to the rest of the vessel is negligible for most applications cost-wise. When designing conical skirts, it is recommended that the apex angle does not exceed 20, uh, 20 degrees. It is a good practice to design conical skirts with an apex angle from 6 to 8 degrees. The use of conical skirt in a more expensive form of fabrication standpoint and unnecessary for most design situations. As shown in the pictures, skirts can be straight or conical. Choosing the latter option when the loads to be absorbed by each bolt are very large. With a conical skirt, we can accommodate a large number of bolts and decrease the pressure transmitted to the foundation. A good alternative to the mentioned before, for especially for slender vessels, is to support them by means of lugs. This way, the moments in the saddle and anchor bolts are much smaller. The next step in skirt design is the skirt saddle. The saddle is formed by three fundamental elements as shown in the figure. Compression ring, gussets and base ring. Through good engineering practices and numerous lessons learned, it is customary to design chairs based on specifications or customer standards. Depending on the weight of the equipment and bolt diameter, the saddle design is chosen. Next, it is necessary to verify that the stress level induced by the design loads in each of the element is below than the allowable. The standard shown below is applicable to most pressure vessels supported by skirts. However, each of the elements must be checked. Sound engineering practices and lessons learned regarding anchor bolts indicate Minimum anchor bolts diameter 24 mm recommended Maximum anchor bolts diameter recommended 100 mm Similarly, the minimum recommended number of bolts is 4 increasing in number for larger pressure vessels as shown in the table. Some pressure vessels of very large dimensions, such as the one shown in the picture, uh, in this case 900 tons of empty weight, uh, it requires 40 bolts of Metrica 100. Um, they require an extremely precise design being necessary in some cases to carry out a finite element analysis. It is usual to place anchor bolts on the outside of skirt. 
That being said, and taking the design to the extreme, sometimes and for very heavy pressure vessels, anchor bolts required are so many that they must be arranged inside and outside the skirt, because they do not fit any other way. This is represented in the picture on the screen. Pressure vessels of small dimensions can also be supported by means of legs instead of skirts. According to sound engineering practices along with job specifications, legs are recommended for vessels with diameters under 1100 mm. Typically, small vessels are supported by four legs. Profiles with L cross sections are the most used for this type of configuration. This is due to the L profile can perfectly adjust to a cylinder of different diameters. Typically, legs in pressure vessels are placed on the shell as shown in the picture. These elements are verified using the principles of classic mechanics and material resistance. Simplify methods can be found in different publications adapted to the configuration of this equipment. The calculation shall be performed considering the buckling and bending moment on the legs. Through good engineering practices and numerous lessons learned, it is customary to design legs according to job specifications and customer standards. Depending on the dimensions of the equipment, the configuration of the legs to support the vessel is chosen.